The Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update is coming. Is this the best Minecraft update ever? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments, but it's certainly one that's been requested for a long time. As any Minecraft player will tell you, we have wanted new caves for such a long time. And this is due to be released in mid-2021. I have to say it looks absolutely incredible. This video is going to showcase everything that we know about it so far. First up, just a quick announcement, but our new mob winner is, of course, the Glow Squid, which will like the deep, dark ocean and will be illuminated although they do not currently emit any light. So Minecraft 1.17 will have vastly improved cave generation that has had huge amount of work done on it from the Mojang team. We can expect huge caverns, narrow tunnels and a local water level and this means that you can have underground lakes, rivers and waterfalls in some caves. The first of these to be looked at are the dripstone caves which are an amazingly cool new feature where they have the stalactites and stalagmites. Not only do they look amazing but you can kind of interact with them because the stalactites will drip water which can actually fill up cauldrons if you place them underneath uh, they can also drop from the ceiling though they can harm entities which are underneath them and similarly if an entity falls on top of a stalagmite uh, then they will take damage too so caves are going to be a bit of a dangerous place but very interactive and very cool another new type of cave will be the lush caves and they come with a new tree the azalea tree is going to lead you to the entrance of a lush cave the bottom of the trees where the roots go into the ground will lead you down into the entrance of a lush cave they are full of foliage they've got small blossom flowers with drip particles and these can be moved and taken back to your base there are moss blocks which are green on all sides and they have a carpet variety too which can be placed on other blocks there are also miniature tree blocks upside down flowers and a new light emitting block known as the glowberry these are also edible so we're actually getting a new food source as well as a new light source in these biomes there are also the drip leaf plants which are temporary platforms which is incredibly cool and is going to create all kinds of fun uh, parkour opportunities i'm sure you can stand on a drip leaf plant but after a while it starts to sag and eventually you'll actually just fall right through it now very excitingly there is also going to be a new underground structure the crystal geode it looks absolutely incredible and it will make a twinkling sound as you walk through it uh, plus it gives you two new rock blocks and two new crystal blocks these are the amethyst crystals which have four growth stages they can actually grow on all sides of the block but that block cannot be moved so to make a farm for them you actually have to travel and find them in the world and they are of course going to be very rare the crystals will be used to make a telescope <laughs> no really a telescope guys is coming to minecraft you'll be able to use it to zoom in and it's kind of like the optifine zoom feature but it seems you'll have to be holding the telescope and it also changes your view to a small circle as you'd expect for a telescope uh, it's great for pirates like me to see what ships i can attack <laughs> If you're enjoying this video and you want to keep up with all the new 1.17 features, blocks and announcements as they happen, be sure to like and subscribe as I will be covering this 1.17 update all the way through. A very scary new hostile mob is on its way guys, it is called the Warden Mob. Found in the new biome, the Deep Dark Biome, where light is minimal and can actually disappear, this mob will actually sense vibrations. So things like a player moving and placing blocks and things like that will actually attract it. The Warden Mob itself is actually blind, but it is really strong and very scary looking you'll notice that you can sort of use snowballs and other things like that to sort of distract it as it does sense these vibrations and it will go to them however when it does attack you it sort of it will charge at you and even in full netherite armor it can kill you in just two hits this is one scary beast guys it's going to be hard to tackle but super fun addition to the game so some of the new blocks that you saw in that clip right there are the skulk growths and these are new blocks that are found in the deep dark biome there's four different types of them and one thing that is super exciting that I, I'm crazy excited about this, wireless redstone will now be possible with a skulk sensor. This is huge and incredibly exciting if you're like me and you like playing with redstone stuff. So basically it will sense vibrations and these can actually be dampened using walls so you can actually have different intensities of output and stuff like that. It is insanely cool <laughs> and here is some wireless redstone in action. As you can see it's just fantastic and, and the particles for it and everything they look like little wireless signals. The things we're going to be able to do with redstone because of this, oh, I cannot wait. I am so excited for this. Another new mob which will be found in the Lush Caves area are the axolotls and uh, they live in the water areas of the Lush Caves. They 
are a water mob. It's basically a companion mob. It can be picked up using a bucket of water, just like a puffer fish. And you can get pink and yellow variations of this mob. Now, the mobs have the ability to play dead. We're not really sure what that means just yet. Maybe that uh, the guardians and things like that will stop attacking them because they will attack the guardians. So you can take them to your water temple with you as sort of like water bodyguards in Minecraft 1.16. I think they also will attack any other mobs that you are attacking. So if the player's taking damage, if it's attacking mobs, they'll come in and help out. So super fun little army you can take with you to attack water temples and things like that. You could easily be forgiven for thinking just about the caves in this update, but of course it is the caves and cliffs update, guys. And the new mountains, well, just wow. They are getting a huge overhaul and they just look incredible. They're also coming with a powdered snow block, which the player can sink into a bit like quicksand. Leather boots will be the only thing that lets you walk on the powdered snow without falling in. So I think you know, what with that and having to wear gold in the nether, we're going to have quite higgledy-piggledy armor sets coming our way. And of course, the mountain biomes do come with everybody's new favorite mod, the goat. The goat is in Minecraft. They have, Minecraft now has goats. This is insane. I cannot wait for these. They jump incredibly high. And as you can see, they have a huge knockback effect as well. I, I cannot wait to play with these things. <laughs> Another new change and quite a big one is there's going to be a new overworld ore. I mean, this has not happened in a long time. This is pretty incredible. They are adding copper ore. Now you can turn copper into blocks, which look very, very nice indeed. And the best thing about them, they age over time. They age and they turn green, sort of like a rust effect. I mean, this is such a cool feature and it's a new first for Minecraft. Copper can also be used to make a lightning rod. So the lightning rod will attract lightning and uh, basically if you build your house out of copper and wood, you might come back to it all on fire as the copper will attract the lightning. But using the lightning rod, you could of course attract the lightning to whatever desired location you want. And it might do some cool things like outputting redstone signals and stuff. That remains to be seen. However, it's going to be so fun to now make things like charge creeper farms and I think just another great addition to the game. So a slightly controversial change that they're adding are bundles, which are basically, they're kind of like backpacks. They can hold up to a stack of items, but you can put any item into it. So it could hold 64 unique items if you wanted to. And the idea is that it will declutter your inventory. But as I say, it is a bit contentious because some people are saying, well, now you'll just have to manage bundles instead of managing your inventory. And you're gonna end up with loads of just random bundles of random items lying around everywhere. But what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. Is this good or not? Could it be better? Do they need like proper backpacks or are bundles going to do the job? So now we have my absolute favorite thing that is coming to Minecraft in 1.17. Archaeology. Guys, I am, I can't believe they're doing this. I think this is amazing. I think it's so cool. It is definitely my new personal favorite feature. You're actually going to be able to go on archaeological digs in Minecraft. I mean, that's insane. It's, it's so cool. Um, you can basically, you can find dig sites and you'll have brushes that you can take down with you to sort of brush away layers of like dirt and gravel and things like that to find artifacts. And the best thing about it, if you're not careful, you'll actually break the artifacts during this process. And I love that. It's, it's a bit of realism. You have to like, you have to take care and you have to do it properly. I love that. Um, you can also like uncover whole blocks, you know, things like emerald blocks and things like that, like sort of treasure. So you know, that, that's going to be kind of uh, fun as well. Um, but the artifacts, of the main thing right and the ones that you find you know it's going to be purposely ambiguous because the idea is that they want us the players to sort of make our own minecraft origin stories now artifacts are going to be used to be put on clay pots uh, which will be another new thing in 1.17 now these pots can be uh, cooked into a pot that has a terracotta look the whole way around if you place the pot above a fire source and and, and leave it there for a little bit of time and i just I absolutely love this. I really, really do love it. I think it's fantastic. And it, it really makes me think a bit about real life. You know, the ancient civilizations on our planet, they would tell their stories and, and mark their events and their history on, on pottery. You know, that was a thing. And now it is in Minecraft. I, I can't wait to do this, guys. I really can't wait. You can tell in my voice probably, but I really am so excited for this one. So what is the best feature, in your opinion, guys, in the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update? Let us know down in the comments section. And if you want to see more of this, do like and subscribe. I'll be following this the whole way through, and I cannot wait for 1.17 to be released. So thanks for watching, guys. Something a little bit more different today. Uh, something I'll be doing regularly, though, is the Minecraft update videos from now on. This is just such an incredible update. I love it so, so much. And uh, if you're still watching, listen right to the end. I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.